A new trailer for the upcoming film Stonewall has hit the web. The film is being helmed by Independence Day director Roland Emmerich and is being released by Roadside Attractions. Stonewall centers on the fictional Danny Winters, played by Jeremy Irvine, who is forced to leave behind friends and loved ones when he is kicked out of his parents' home and flees to New York. Alone in Greenwich Village, homeless and destitute, he befriends a group of street kids who soon introduce him to the local watering hole, the Stonewall Inn. However, this shady mafia-run club is far from a safe haven. As Danny and his friends experience discrimination, endure atrocities, and are repeatedly harassed by the police, we see a rage begin to build. John, do you buy or sell the trailer for Stonewall? I buy the trailer, although it was difficult. We were trying, we had our pre-production meeting this morning, as we have every morning here at Movie Talk, and we're all sitting around the table trying to talk. She's so like, I was getting to Stonewall, you know, this, and all of a sudden, all you hear is Sinead, oh my God, he's hot. And say, okay, yes. And then we're talking, blah, blah, blah. And then again, over the ramps, no, really, he's so hot. <laughs> so <laughs> so you got a fan, Jeremy. You got a fan over here. So, Hit me and, up, Jeremy. <laughs> Hit me up. <laughs> What's, uh, that little, little, What's that little that thing? That was nice. Um, <laughs> so I really do buy the trailer. And I'm fascinated by it because I'm kind of really morbidly curious in Roland Emmerich Directing films that aren't Roland Emmerich films, that aren't blow up, explosion, big spectacle things. He did that Shakespeare film. Anonymous. A couple of years. Anonymous, which I know a lot of people didn't like. I really was impressed by it. I liked the film a lot. And I think it showed a side of Roland Emmerich that a lot of us don't know is there. And so you bring that to a film like this. And I love movies like this, like Milk, like uh, Selma, things like that. Things that remind us, look folks, yeah, we have issues today. But let's not forget how bad they really were and how bad they could be again if we don't continue to pay, uh, pay attention to stuff like this. And that's why I love these types of films. I hope he doesn't screw this up because the trailer to me impressed me. So for me, it's a buy. Clark, what do you think? Definitely a buy. Definitely. I mean, this is a huge event in the LGBT community, especially in American history. Um, the, if you watch the trailer, you can hear the clip of Barack Obama actually talking about Stonewall, Stone, which yeah. is a huge thing. Mm. Um, I think the trailer looks great. I think it's a really important story to tell. And uh, the fact that a Roland Emmerich type was compelled by this story, I think, is fascinating. Fascinating, and I would actually love to sit down with him and talk to him about why he felt like he wanted to make this movie. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is there's an actor in the film, Johnny uh, Beauchamp, and uh, he was on Penny Dreadful this season. I'm a huge fan of Penny Dreadful, and he played Dorian Gray's lover this season. He's very talented, and he uh, I'm really, really excited to see him in this movie as well. So it's a huge buy for me, and I think it's really important, and I'm glad it exists. Schnapp. Yeah, I'm going to buy the, the trailer as well. Um, I did feel there was a few moments in the trailer where it's it seems so melodramatic, like some of the this is what this is what I was talking about. It felt forced, some of the dialogue. So there were a couple of moments in there that I felt were a little too uh, hyper real as opposed to subdued, like, oh, this is a re real film. I almost felt almost theatrical, you know, like, oh, they're going to break out into a song. Is this a musical? So those are my concerns about the film, but it just looks really well shot. It's a very important story to be told, so I'm gonna buy it, but I reserve judgment on like how the histrionics go as far as the actual film. 